what is the world's largest telescope? Well, most people will answer Keck or Hubble. But the world's largest telescope is actually built out of SQL. It is the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, kicked off in the 2000s, that scanned the sky, recorded all the objects it could see in an enormous public open database. They had a 3D map of the universe, a 3D map, and it had untold number of objects, hundreds of millions of galaxies, gas clouds, light years in length, explosions, remnants of explosions of stars, black holes from which light could not escape, and quasars, which shine with the brightness of a trillion suns. And you could literally fly through it all. is not Hollywood. It is real data, open data, hosted in a database of real objects that you would see in the sky to scale. At the heart of it all was this public open database, which is critical. 280 million SQL queries have been run against it, 4 million distinct users. Now remember, there are only 15,000 astronomers. The rest of it is the world celebrating the marvels of the universe with open data. And that gave rise to the citizen scientist. Now, astronomers had a problem. When you have such massive amount of data, how do you do research? What do you do with it? How do you classify all of these objects that you have? Now, two astronomers had this great idea. They said, hey, why don't we crowdsource some of this really hard research? They created a website called Galaxy Zoo, where they put up images of galaxies to be classified by the public, completely open to the public. And legions of volunteer astronomers, amateur astronomers, helped them in their task. So enter Brian May. Brian May wrote about Galaxy Zoo. He was a, a closet astronomer. He wrote about Galaxy Zoo in his blog. And Hani Wan Arco, 25-year-old at the time, was a Brian May fan. She played with Galaxy Zoo. She helped classify all of these galaxies, and in the process, saw something really strange, this green object that seemed very puzzling. They couldn't, she couldn't make out, it wasn't a galaxy. So she asked astronomers, what is this green thing? And astronomers had never seen anything like it before at all. So in her honor, they called it Hani's Woolworth. And it turned out to be a big cosmic mystery. A large number of astronomic papers were published on it, and it really expanded our knowledge of some of the most mysterious things that happen in the universe.